Welcome to Pace Moments. Here, our experts and guests discuss many aspects of corporate finance and analytical models that will help make better, more informed business decisions possible in your organization. I'm Doug Hicks, one of the directors of Pace. In this edition of Pace Moments, I'm going to talk about the laws that support the profitability analytics framework. The word law is two distinct meanings. It may describe arbitrary regulations made by human consent in particular circumstances for a particular purpose and capable of being promulgated, enforced, suspended, altered, or rescinded without interference with the general scheme of the universe. On the other hand, the word law is also implied to designate a generalized statement of observable fact. In the first sense, we may talk of tax laws, generally accepted accounting principles, or the rules of baseball. Such laws frequently prescribe that certain events will follow upon certain others, but the second event is not a necessary consequence. The connection between the two is purely formal. For example, if a fielder catches a batted ball before it touches the ground, the batter is out. There is, however, no inevitable connection between the capture of an in-flight baseball by a leather glove and the return of a human body from a patch of, patch of freshly mown lawn to a hard wooden bench. The two events are readily separable in theory. Should the rulemaking body of baseball choose to alter the law, no cataclysm of nature would be involved. In the second sense, we talk about the laws of nature. Such laws cannot be promulgated, altered, suspended, or broken at will. They are not laws in a, at all in a sense that the laws of baseball or tax laws are laws. They are statements of observable facts inherent in the nature of the universe. Anybody can enact that murder will not be punishable by death but nobody can enact that swallowing a glass full of pure hydrocyanatic acid will not be punishable by death. In the former case, the connection between the two events is legal, that is arbitrary. In the latter case, it is a true causal connection. The second event is a necessary consequence of the first. The profitability analytics framework has been designed to aid decision makers in developing the kind of comprehensive and relevant decision support information they need to optimize their organization's financial performance. It is not a method like ABC, TOC, Kaizen, or the balanced scorecard. Instead, it is a comprehensive strategic management framework that encompasses revenue, cost, and investment management, all three factors that determine return on investment, and addresses management's need to formulate, validate, and execute an organization's strategy. At its core are caus causality-based models that reflect the fundamental laws of nature that underlie the organization's operation not arbitrary regulations prescribed by rulemaking bodies or general formulas developed by subject matter experts. Those causality-based revenue operating and investment models must be populated with data that also reflects laws of nature, not the laws of man. This is especially true for expense and cost data. Financial accounting's definitions of investment and expense must be reconsidered and modified. Investments must include those made in both tangible and intangible resources. Financial accounting's need to assign sunk costs to future financial periods must be eliminated. A forward-looking replacement for depreciation that effectively measures the funds that need to be accumulated to preserve the existing capital base must be developed. Cost of capital must be recognized as a true cost of business. In short, financial accounting conventions, which reflect the laws of man, must be replaced with economic laws of nature. 
Methods such as those mentioned earlier can be used to effectuate portions of the profitability ethics framework, but they are no substitute for the comprehensive view of the organization's operation provided by the framework. That's my point of view. What's yours? Let us know by posting your thoughts in the forum on PACE's website. Thanks for listening, and I hope to talk to you again soon. Thank you for listening to our PACE Moments podcast. To learn more about profitability analytics, check out the PACE website, join one of PACE's interest groups, and follow PACE on LinkedIn and Twitter. Thank you.